Tell me what a relief rally is and whether you think this is merely a relief rally. Yeah, it's interesting. So it's pretty consensus view right now, Tyler, that what we're seeing is a bit of a relief rally, which just means you've got very oversold in a short period of time in the March 23rd low, down some 34% on the S&P 500. And then you're going to see investors say, okay, we've done too much damage in that period of time. And that was really quick from an all-time high to a bear market. So these are the fastest we've ever done that. And say, okay, the news probably doesn't equate to the damage we've done. Let's let's catch up. Let's try to catch a bounce here. And, and we've seen a significant bounce. We see this all the time in bear markets. It, it, going back to the last ten bear markets, we've seen significant pops in the middle. And uh, and we're going through that right now. Does that mean that uh, you know we're the middle of the range is, is where we can spend some time? We're twenty percent you know down from the highs and twenty percent up from the lows. Can we churn around this level for a period of time as we try to digest the tsunami of bad news we're about to get? I'd, I'd feel comfortable saying that that's the case, but there's just about everybody you talk to is convinced we need to retest those lows to know that we've put a bottom in. And the, the bottoming process is, is generally take longer than the time we've, we've spent working through this right now. Barry, do you agree with what Art just said? In other words, that we probably need to retest the March 23rd lows, my wife's birthday, by the way. Uh, and then once we do that, what happens next? What does this look like when we get on the other side, both of that retest of the lows, if you think that's going to happen, and when we get on the other side of what Governor Cuomo keeps calling the apex of case growth? So as Art was talking and um, uh, describing what consensus was and how most people think you're going to get a retest of the low, I was thinking, well, I'm out of consensus then, because that's, that's not my view. Um, my Perspective on all this, my business cycle analysis, both in terms of the magnitude of the decline that we had with this recession, which I would describe as similar to the 1958 recession when we had a down 10 percent GDP quarter uh, in the middle of the Asian flu, or the 1980 recession when we had a down 8 percent quarter because Carter put credit controls on the economy. It was another sort of government-mandated recession, if you will. Um, those were short recessions. I think this one will be even deeper than either of those, but I think it'll be done by June. And so if you think about when the market bottoms relative to the end of recessions, March 23rd was exactly the right time frame. Furthermore, the magnitude of the decline was greater than any post-war recession except for 73, 75, or the last two bubble-related economies. That 73, 75 recovery came about because of the OPEC oil embargo. That left a decade-long mark on the U.S. economy. I don't believe that this is going to be the case. Yeah, I'm not going to fall into the trap of telling you that people are getting back on airplanes, as Andrew Ross Erkin tried to trap me into a week ago. That's not my point. I think the economy is going to go through some significant transformations. But I think the recession will be all but done through the second quarter. That'll make it the shortest post-war recession. And so I think the low is in. Now, I agree with Art. You know, going straight back up, I was asked this yeah. question over the weekend, where are you going to at the end of the year? And I sort of put a 2,900 number on it, and we're kind of getting close to that fairly quickly. But I, I think that we do need to do some consolidation or cre create some sort of a base in here. That part I would definitely agree with. All right.